Hi, Frontline family and friends. Great to be with you again tonight. What a privilege it is to come together to pray. Remember, Jesus said that where two or three of you gather, I'm there among you. And even if we're in a virtual space, he's still with us. He says, if two of you agree on anything, my Father will do it for you. So we've got confidence tonight as we come into God's presence. Now, we're going to be praying tonight into some of the emotions and feelings and uh, thoughts that are causing people to struggle at the moment. I'm very mindful that as we're coming into autumn and the season's changing and uh, we get a bit depressed with the grey cloudy skies and the rain and the cold and we feel fed up because there's this second wave of restrictions and coronavirus. It's easy to get weighed down by it and to feel anxious by it. And so I want us to pray tonight into um, into that for us, for ourselves first of all, but also for others as we pray. Maybe if you want to pray for yourself, maybe put your hand on your heart as though you're saying, this is for me, Lord. If you want to pray for others, just maybe reach your hand out and remember them by name and pray for them. So we're going to pray as always I do out of scriptures. We're going to start with Psalm 43, verse 5, uh, where the psalmist says, Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my saviour and my God. So Father, we just recognise tonight that there are times when we feel discouraged and sad. But we, Lord, Lord, we know that the answer is to put our hope and our trust in you. So we pray for ourselves, we pray for others that we know, Lord God, who are struggling with feelings of sadness and discouragement, maybe depression or, or even worse, Lord God. And we, we pray, Lord God, for a divine infusion of heavenly hope, hope that you are in charge, hope that you will come through for them, hope that you will change the circumstances, hope for our city, Lord God, of and the Liverpool region, the hope that we would once again have freedoms that we don't currently have, hope that those who are sick will recover. Lord, we put our hope in you. We put our trust in your faithfulness. We put our trust in your power and your goodness. We put our trust in the fact that you have a good plan and purpose for our life. And we know, Lord, that nothing that you purpose can be thwarted. No purpose of yours can be thwarted. And we thank you, Lord God, you purpose for good in our lives. And we just pray for that hope to fill us, Lord, energy to begin to rise where there's sadness and discouragement, optimism to take the place of pessimism. Lord, let hope arise. Let faith arise for our futures and those for those who are struggling with sadness and discouragement tonight. Just bring those by name that you know that are struggling in this way to the Lord tonight. Our second scripture is from Philippians chapter 4. We're going to be praying into anxiety, worry, fear. Paul says, don't worry, don't be anxious about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and your minds as we live in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, we, we, we know there are times when we feel anxious and fearful. We're worried about what the future will hold. We're worried about our finances. We're worried about loss of jobs and work. We're worried about health and those we love, Lord God. We're worried about the restrictions that are preventing us from connecting with others in life-giving ways. But we bring it all to you, Lord God. You, you tell us to pray about everything. So we, we pray about these, these circumstances we find ourselves in and restrictions that we're in right now. And the, the worries that we have, we bring them to you, Lord God. We trust you to provide where there's lack. We trust you to bring health where there's sickness. We trust you just to quell our hearts. 
and your promise, Lord God, as we bring these things to you, is that you will give us your peace, a peace that passes all understanding, that will guard our hearts and minds. And so we say, peace of God, come. Peace of God, come and fill our hearts. Fill the hearts of those we love and bring to you tonight. Fill them with your peace, Lord God. A peace that is like oil on troubled water that calms the storm. A peace that is beyond logic, analysis or reasoning. A peace that says, it's okay, my son, my daughter. It's okay, I'm with you. It's okay. We will come through this together. Send your peace, Prince of Peace. Come and live in our hearts and release your peace tonight. We ask it in the name of Jesus. Send your peace in Jesus' mighty name. Just bring those who you know are anxious or worried. Bring them by name before the Lord just now. And our final scripture tonight is from James chapter 1. James says this, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles or difficulties come your way, consider it an opportunity for joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. <clears throat> But when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. So Lord, we just say that as we face difficult times, as we, we, we see there are troubles all around us, Lord God. Difficulties. We say, Lord, may we face them with your strength. May we face them knowing that you are testing and growing our faith producing endurance the fruit of the spirit is growing in us tonight and we say do your work holy spirit do your work in us and in those we love do your work cause our faith to grow stronger let endurance and perseverance develop in our lives let that those fruit of the spirit grow in our lives we welcome you Holy Spirit who produce that fruit to help us to face difficulties and troubles head on with confidence cause us to grow through them not to be diminished by them and for those we love Lord God we just bring them to you by name those that we know that are struggling with difficulties and troubles Lord may they know your joy may they count it all joy may we Lord God count it all joy and find joy in our difficulties the joy of the Lord which is our strength the joy which sees beyond the difficulty beyond the trial beyond the testing to the one who helps us endure to the one who never leaves us and never fails us release your joy in our hearts Lord God so we say again Lord God in the place of sadness, of despair, of discouragement. Lord, release your hope tonight. Instead of sadness, let there be hope in our hearts tonight, Lord God. Instead of anxiety and worry, let there be your peace tonight, Lord God. And where all we can see is trials and difficulties, let joy begin to bubble up, Lord God, the joy of the Lord. Be our strength and cultivate, grow within us the fruit of the Spirit, of endurance and perseverance, strength of character that will not only see us through but serve us well for a future, loving you, walking with you and serving you in all of your kingdom purposes. We pray for all of this and we ask it in Jesus' mighty name. And all the people of God said, Amen and Amen. The Lord be with you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. 
and I pray that you have a blessed weekend ahead and in the coming weeks. God bless and bye-bye.